Good evening. Hundreds of workers at the collapsed construction giant Carillion received their redundancy notices today. Across Scotland, anxious employees and subcontractors attended meetings with unions, keen to find out anything about their future. Weeks on from the crash of the firm, which banked billions in taxpayers' cash, there are warnings there is more pain to come. James Chain has been across the story. Their corporate videos boasted about making tomorrow a better place, but in the wake of Carillion's collapse, workers have been more worried about what's happening right now. This morning, the announcement that UK-wide 377 jobs will go, 29 of them in Scotland. At lunchtime, employees on Aberdeen's bypass were handed redundancy notices. In the hours that followed, meetings took place in Glasgow, Edinburgh, Dundee and Ayr. So if the worst happens and you are made redundant, People wanted to know how long they'd get paid and whether their job might be next. Was there anger in that meeting? Yeah, there's anger. There's anger not only for the members, but the members' families. You know, that wives and children don't know, you know, if they're getting a wage next week, who's going to be paying them, uh, how, how the, the wives and the children are going to get to school. It's a disgrace in this day and age that workers who have built this country are left in limbo. Traders in the city had been speculating and betting the firm would fail for months. When the first of three profit warnings was issued in July last year, the share price fell through the floor. However, the company still received huge public sector contracts from the UK government. The workers at this meeting still had jobs this afternoon, but they worried that may not last long. For that reason, they wouldn't go on camera to speak about it. But there was anger about what's happened and concern about the future. Because these individuals are still being paid, Nobody really knows when the axe is going to finally fall. Um, it's a very difficult situation for, for workers and their families um, because they, they don't know whether to take a new job or whether they should still stay with Carillion. There was some good news. More than 900 employees of this giant company had their jobs protected. But as its liquidation continues, so too does the anger and uncertainty.